burial or cremation. Considering your options many counties of the western world have taken on cremation is the favored method of a final resting option of their loved ones. Largely, this is based on the fact that space is at a premium and apart from paying taxes, death is the second most expensive thing we have to do. It costs an extremely high amount of money to bury a loved one or oneself. At the end of their lives and if the person didn't make preparations the family can often be left paying for it. Is cremation really preferred? Generally, no one in their right mind wants to die or think of their own mortality. But we know it is inevitable at some point. We have to arrange for our coffin, the place of rest, the service, the extras and all that goes with a full funeral service. However, with cremation it can be pretty simple in comparison and certainly less fussy. The question then is whether the ashes are interned, scattered, or just kept by a family member. There is no grave to maintain and therefore the cost is kept to a minimum. Many people prefer the idea of cremation for superstitious reasons, in that they wouldn't want to wake up halfway through the closing of the grave and not be able to raise the alarm. Many folk have taken the most outrageous of precautions in recent years, including attached bells to the coffin and taking a mobile phone with them, just in case. Cremation, while just as terrifying to many, would be a very quick fix if they did wake up because they would literally have only seconds before they won't have to worry about it anymore. Don't blow a gasket. When choosing caskets and baskets burial containers can be made from most materials and in some countries around the globe. They are weaved like baskets or made from balsa wood. In Ghana, for instance, there are businesses that make coffins to look like airplanes, crabs, cars and other strange objects. This is not to disrespect the dead, but more to make the dying and the mourners feel more at ease. When a person sees a coffin they usually feel the sadness and remorse for that person, but when they see them in a hearse with a car inside or airplane they might smile in the hope that they are getting a good send off. The Americans tend to call their coffins caskets and coffins. A casket is a straight long box, whereas a coffin is more of a tapered hexagonal style container. The word coffin derives from coffin the old French language and also from coffinus Latin meaning basket. Ancient civilizations tended to use mausoleums and catacombs for their deceased and Westerners used tombs and vaults in later years. Nowadays, with the lack of space in many countries and cemeteries filling at a rate of knots people are starting to look at the cremation as an alternative. Modern coffins are made from oak, pine and other woods, and with steel or brass hardware and handles. There are many choices to suit all budgets, but one thing that will probably never change is people's fear of passing.